Homes live here with Bayut. Find real and authentic properties using TrueCheck. Download the app or visit bayut.com. All right. It's been three weeks since RERA reset its rental index calculator, allowing some landlords to raise rents higher than they could previously. Uh, we wanted to know what kind of effect it might be having on sales and on rental activity. Are people changing behaviour? So we are joined by the woman with the numbers, Fibber Ahmed, who has great insight into the data as Vice President of Sales at DeBizzle and Bayute. Fibber, good morning. It's nice to see you. Same here, Brandy. It's been a while. So tell me, with the search numbers that you see on the site, we've heard people say, right, this is it, that's going to push me to buy if the rents go up higher. But is it changing the number of people searching to buy? Interesting you brought that up. We've been talking a lot about the RERA calculator and what the reset is expected to do. I'm glad you're asking as to what exactly is happening on the ground. Some interesting numbers that I've seen over the course of last three weeks. Now, bear this in mind that any landlord who is looking to make use of this new calculator or the new um, reset of the calculator has to give a 90-day notice to um, their tenants. Now, the real impact of this reset, I would say, would be more visible to us in terms of search patterns and changes in the next couple of months. But what I have noticed is certainly there has been a slight shift in the patterns of demand um, areas that are um, always in uh, conversation with us. The popular areas have, of course, maintained to be top of the board when it comes to searches. But there are some new entrants to the market, uh, both for sale and rent. Before I dive into that, one interesting bit that I'd like to highlight is that in the month of um, March so far, we're seeing more sale transactions as compared to Feb. Mm -hmm. We're seeing less rental transactions as compared to Feb. Now, I'm looking at the daily rates and I'm mindful of the fact that March is still not complete. But if I just break it down to daily rates, this top line trend is kind of signifying that sale appetite is there to stay. And rental now could be attributed to Ramadan. Mm -hmm. could be attributed to people have already shifted and now they're busy uh, wrapping up the school um, term and waiting for holiday season to be moving again. Uh, but these are the top line stats that I see after the 1st of March. Okay, so when you say they're, uh, popular areas are still popular, but you're seeing a shift in other areas, what, what's the general trend? Interestingly, uh, one thing that I have noticed over the last six months when it comes to sale, there is one segment that is consistently showing us more and more searches by the end user and the investors. That's the two to four million range of properties. Now, with that said, we have to kind of narrow down where can you buy something which is for two to four, and then you profile the audience as to who's looking for it. Now, when you think of two to four million, you would think of townhouses that are affordable. Um, something that has come top of the board recently for rent, um, and I'm talking last three to four weeks, is town, um, town Square area. Now, when I look at Town Square, it has seen 100% more searches and intent on our platform for rent. Now, these could be people who were previously living in the ranches, who, who were previously living in Moodon, or maybe to buy Hills Estate for that matter. Now, with this anticipation of rents going high, they are looking to move further out. I would expect similar pattern to continue in the Bailan area, Mira, Mira Oasis, Reem. However, one thing that stood out for me was Town Square. When you look at sale, people are actively looking in areas um, which are DIP. So looking to invest into Damak Hills too. Damak Hills too, interestingly, has stopped the um, list of uh, shift in demand, both for sale and rent. So I know we've been talking about the fact that it's too further out, but I think that would be one area to watch out for. Okay, so searches are showing for both sales and rent people, there's an uptick in interest in more affordable areas. Correct. And I'm saying more affordable, inverted commas, <laughs> for two to four million dollar <laughs> townhouses. What could it mean for stock if investors might be able to get a higher yield than expected on their property? Could they hold on to it rather than sell? So I think there's going to be some very interesting shifts as these 90 day notice period kind of matures. We would see there's more and more inventory that's going to come back into the market. Um, since there has been a massive um, shift in um, 
the rental prices of renewal and uh, new um, transactions that we've seen in some areas, 45% higher new transactions for rental uh, properties in Dubai Hills, Arabian Ranches. All of this is going to come back to the market and rental stock is going to uh, be more available. With that said, are people still going to be able to afford that high rent? Um, I believe people are going to start looking into buying their own property. Um, those who can afford, of course, and those who have the initial deposit and can bear the cost. Uh, people are also going to start picking up um, mid-segment affordable areas where you can find apartments under one mill for higher um, rental yields. You have your DIP, you have your Sport City, or John is uh, another community where investors are keenly uh, observing the market, uh, generating interest uh, because of the high ROI and the way that um, community has shaped up. 30 seconds left with you so quickly. Tom's talking about the roads being a joy this morning. His theory is that people are off on holiday because long Eid coinciding with holidays. Will we see a bit of a lull in real estate activity? Very interesting. Uh, of course, the general notion is that Ramadan and holiday season is going to slow down things. I do see activity higher on the sale transaction side. As I told you already, daily transaction rates on sale are higher. Rentals, I believe, are going to mature more so when people come back in the town. So it's going to be a balance between both. Fiba Ahmed is Vice President of Sales at Dubizzle and Bayut. Checking in three weeks after uh, Rera reset its rental calculator to see what kind of effect that might be having on both sales and rental searches.